For most of us, we spend about 13 years of our lives in school and then we never look back again. We may never even think of schools again. But schools are always changing in some pretty incredible ways. Do you guys want to see what schools might look like in 20, 50 or 100 years from now? I'm Danny Burke and this is the top 10 crazy ways schools will change in the future. If you're watching this in the future and I got all of this wrong, I'm sorry. Coming in at number 10 now, we have augmented reality. Augmented reality is when computers generate enhancements on existing existing reality that you can then react with. There are already examples of this being used today in the classroom. Apps like Orasma let students scan a page of their homework to reveal a video of their teacher helping them solve the problem. In the future, perhaps pointing a phone camera at any image a student is given could render a 3D version for them to explore from every angle. Maybe in the future, teachers won't punish you for having your phone out, they'll punish you for forgetting it. Next up at number 9, we have smart drugs. This one sounds crazy, but it could be a reality one day. Researchers are working on something called cognition drugs. Basically vitamin pills but stronger, faster acting and far more effective at boosting areas of the brain. If students use these they could enhance their memories or unlock new creative abilities to help them with their work. Of course there are so many moral and ethical issues when it comes to this but some people say it could very well become a reality. Coming at number 8 now, we have robot teachers. This has always been the stuff of science fiction, hasn't it? A metal robot bleeping and blooping at the front of a classroom. But with the rise of animatronics and AI, robotic teachers could look, sound and act just like real humans. They would be indistinguishable. They wouldn't need sleep, they wouldn't get unmotivated and they would have instant access to all human knowledge. But will AI ever be a suitable replacement for a real human being when it comes to teaching? I'm sure your teachers would argue no, but what do you guys think? At number 7 we have haptic technology. Have you ever played a console game and the controller shook in your hand? That's haptic technology, recreating the sense of touch to a user. The thing is, it's getting a lot more realistic these days. Schools of the future may use advanced haptic technology to allow their students to feel things as if it were right in front of them. Students could feel the ridges on a dinosaur skull, they could touch a long extinct plant or feel the tip of of an ancient weapon where the only real version is locked away in a museum. You could bring the whole world to a child's fingertips. At number 6 now we have security. Now ever since the rise of school shootings over the past 30 years or so in America, people have been discussing how to keep children safe in the still unlikely event of these tragedies happening. They could be safe rooms in schools and even armed school security. Some have even proposed that school entrances should be more like airport security with full body scans scanners and x-ray machines. Is this too much? Is there another solution to the problem? What do you guys think? Alright, coming at number 5 now, exams will change. Many educators feel that the current method of exams just doesn't work for the world we live in. They worry that it teaches students to just cram as much information as possible and then forget it all the day after the exam. There aren't many employers out there that would value that as an employable trait and yet that's what the entire system seems to be based off right now. Educators of the future will need to come up with new innovative ways to show that a child has understood and can apply the knowledge that they've learnt and not just eat it and spit it out again in the space of a few weeks. Next up at number 4 now we have different work for different students. Right now most schools assign work in the same way they have done for over a hundred years. They give all the students in one class the exact same work to do. In the future some educators experts think the students may have more flexibility to show how they demonstrate that they understand the topic at hand. Will you decide to do a video, a presentation or interpretive dance? Ok maybe not that last one but you get the point people are unique and the work may need to reflect that. At number 3 now we have virtual reality. Now this is different to the augmented reality we talked about earlier. I'm sure you guys are all aware of VR, the ability to transport someone to a completely fabricated world. Now imagine if this was applied to education. As VR becomes cheaper and more accessible, schools could use it to transport their students to just about anywhere in the world or universe. Is that museum trip going to take too much time or cost too much to visit? No problem, VR could take students there in an instant. As the technology improves, so too will the realism. Who knows where this will lead. 
Coming in at number two now, we have coding. Some people think that learning how to code a computer program will become a mandatory subject for all school kids of the future. In the past, it's been seen as a specialty subject that is only needed if you're going into the IT sector. Now though, the apps we use every day are used for entertainment, for art, or just for fun. If you want to give children the tools to make their own app for baking, helping people learn to draw, or learning a new dance routine, they're going to need to code it. Personally, I would have loved to learn how to code when I was at school. I'm a little bit jealous of these future kids. And finally, at number one now, we have 3D printing. 3D printing is getting better, more widespread, and cheaper with every year that goes by. So, it's logical to assume it will one day be a staple in the classroom. A lot of the reasons we have textbooks and presentations is because a teacher is trying to explain how physical things look or how they behave. With 3D printing, there would be no need to tell, you could just show. Any artifact from history, any part to a machine, any instrument ever invented, anything could be replicated right there and then in the classroom. You could make a Mongolian violin in the morning and be playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star by the time you go home. That is the future. Well, according to what I've looked at, if any of this stuff does happen in schools, it won't be for a while and will probably benefit none of you guys watching this. Unless we have any unborn children watching, as always one. My name is Danny Burke. If you liked this, then like this. Thank you, and I'll see you all in the next video.